out, Jim, in Turpin, Oklahoma. Tonight's PTCI Channel 2 contest is between the Beaver Lady Dusters and the Turpin Lady Cardinals. First, the starters for the visiting Lady Dusters. A junior, number 10, Riley Schleschman. A sophomore, number 11, Julie White Eagle. A senior, number 13, Haley Starr. A senior, number 23, Devin Lansden. And a junior, number 32, Jenna Pugh. For the Lady Cardinals, number two, a freshman, Sailor Parker. Number five, a sophomore, Alondra Quinones. A junior, number 10, Michaela Young. And a senior, number 12, Callie McVay. And a senior, number 20, Marbella Alba. Beaver comes into this contest with an 8-5 overall record. Their head coach is Ginger Looper. She's assisted by Amy Weaver. For the Cardinals, they come in with a 5-9 record. Their head coach is Braden Robinson. He is assisted by Brandy Parker. Pretty two contrasting styles here tonight. Cardinals like to slow the game down a little bit. Play more of a half-court game. Whereas the Lady Dusters, they really like to get up and down the floor from time to time. Or really, for most of the game. And so we'll see who will win out between those two styles tonight. The teams. Lady Dusters on the floor. Lady Cardinals getting their final instructions from Coach Robinson. And we are ready for the opening tip. It will be Riley Schleschman for the Lady Dusters. And Michaela Young for the Lady Cardinals. There's the jump, and Beaver with the opening tip. Lands and drives in the lane, has the ball taken away, but he'll call it jump ball. That'll be back over to Turpin. Full court pressure from the Lady Dusters. As you'll see pretty much every game, ball to Sailor Parker, and she stepped out of bounds, ball back over to Beaver. So each team opens the game with a turnover. Schleschman will inbound in front of the Turpin bench. Lansden sets up the offense up front, gets the call from her head coach, Coach Looper. Down, tried to dip it down low to Pew, taken away, Young with it. McVeigh was the one to kind of knock it away. Young goes baseline, and at the block, puts it up and in, and the Turpin Cardinals strike first, two to nothing, seven and a half left to play in this first quarter. Ball in the corner to Schleschman. High post tried to pass over the top to Pew. Pew can't save it before it goes out of bounds. Ball back over to the Lady Cardinals. Ball passed into Alba. She'll give it off to Parker. As they break the press, they'll set their half court offense. Ball in the corner, Young thought about it, drives to the paint. Ball knocked out of bounds by Starr. And Turpin will inbound it in front of the Beaver bench. 6.59 left, first quarter. Two to nothing, Turpin. Ball dumped into McVeigh. She's gonna be called for the carry. And so another turnover back to Lady Dusters. Both teams coming out with a pair of turnovers so far. So. A little rusty as they get warmed up. Lands them to the free throw line. She'll kick it over to Schleschman. Schleschman likes to shoot those three. Backdoor pass, too strong. And Turpin comes away with it. Alba passes up 
to McVeigh. She'll back it out and give it to Parker. Over to Young for three from the wing. It's good. Turpin leads five to nothing. 6.25 left to play. First quarter, three-pointer from Schleschman, no good. Rebounded by Starr, no good. Pugh comes away with the loose ball, back to Schleschman, puts up the two, no good, but she was fouled. That foul is going to be called on Alondra Quinones. That's her first, her team first. First free throw, good. Several subs already in for the Lady Dusters. Number 15, a freshman, Zoe Weaver. Number 24, a freshman, Sydney Looper. And number 34, a freshman, Jaden Mills. Second free throw, also good. 6-12 left to play. 5-2 now the score. Ball in the corner to Quinones. Drives in the lane, puts up a shot, no good. Rebounded by Weaver, long pass ahead, intercepted by Parker. And Young has it now, she's trapped, gets it back to Parker though. Now with McVeigh, they'll set their offense. Quinones with it, hands it off to Young, she'll drive baseline, turns around, kicks it back out. Over to McVeigh, puts up the three, off the rim, no good, rebounded by Schleschman. Schleschman over to Weaver. Ball in the corner to Mills, dumps it down low to Weaver, puts up the shot, no good. Kayla Young fights for the loose ball, we've got a foul. That's gonna be on Beaver, and Jenna Pugh is gonna be called for the foul. That'll be her first, team's first. 5-19 left to play, first quarter. 5-2, Turpin leads. Ball up to Alba. She gets it up to Parker. Parker picks up her dribble. She gets it over to McVeigh. A little bit of a weave back to Parker. She'll take the shot just inside the three-point line. Gets it to fall. 7-2 now, just under five minutes left to play. First quarter. Ball in the lane, shot up, put up by Mills. It's good. Seven to four now, the score, 4.45 left first quarter. Young with trouble getting it in. Five second call, ball back over to Beaver. Subs in for the Lady Cardinals. Number 15, a freshman, Zylie Ibsen. And also number 22, a freshman, Carmen Levins. Ball inbound to Pew. Ball tipped away by Ibsen. And Young passes it ahead up to Ibsen at the block. We'll back it back out. Gets it to Parker, drives in the lane, dishes back out to McVeigh. Shot near the block, no good. Rebounded by Schleschman. Puts up a shot in the lane, it's good. Just a little floater, 415. Seven to six now the score. Parker hands it off to McVeigh. Turpin trying to find the balance between taking advantage when they do get past the press and then getting in a hurry up game. Pass underneath the Parker puts it in, draws the foul, she'll go to the line for the and one. That's going to be number two already on Jenna Pugh. So into the game, number, back, back into the game, Julie White Eagle. And also in for the first time, a senior, number 22, Rebecca Dame. Free throw by Parker is good. Nine or 10 to six. Turpin leads, 353 left to play. Loose ball, steal by Levens. Gets it over to Ibsen, and Ibsen's gonna be called for the travel. She just couldn't quite get a hold of it, and then when she did, she kind of tripped over her own feet. Weaver on the wing, thought about the three, kicks it around. Back to Weaver, short corner, over to Mills. 
Ball passed around the perimeter. Herpin. Long three is good by Looper. 10 to nine now the score. 315 left to play. Ball inbound to McVeigh. She gets it across the timeline. Dumps it off to Young. Young will take the three. No good. Rebounded by White Eagle. Ball over to Looper on the wing. Ball passed down the paint, short corner. Shot blocked though by Young. Mills tried to put up the shot from the short corner and it was blocked. Alba and Quinones returned to the game. Schleschman, star. Back in, backdoor pass, shot up, no good. And tied up by McVeigh. Jump ball, it will stay with the Lady Dusters. Two and a half minutes left, first period. Ball in the corner. Star with it, drives in, puts up the shot, gets it to go. And the Lady Dusters take their first lead of the game. 2.25 left to play in the first quarter. Quinones with it, loses control of it, out of bounds and a turnover. Checking into the game for the Lady Cardinals for the first time. A sophomore, number 21, Sammy Bott. Shot by Weaver, no good. Foul called on the play. That's gonna be called on Quinones. That'll be her second, team's second. Two minutes left to play, first quarter. Starr puts up the shot, in and out, no good. Rebounded by Bott. Ball stolen away, Schleschman puts up the shot, no good. Starr with the rebound. And a double dribble, ball turned back over to Turpin. 148 left, first quarter. Still full court pressure by Beaver. Ball into Levens. He takes it across the timeline. Tried to pass it into Bot, but it's stolen away by Dame. Back the other way, Schleschman with it. Pulls up for the 15-footer, no good. Star with the rebound. Top of the key, pass under, down low to White Eagle. Miss, got her own rebound, missed again. Gets her own rebound again, missed again. Ball still loose, Bach comes away with it. And a jump ball, odd place to call a jump ball. She was the only one with it in her hands at that time. Young and Parker return to the game for the Lady Cardinals. 114 left to play. First quarter. Parker gives it quickly back to Young. She'll bring it up. Guarded by Star. And she's going to be called for the offensive foul, foul as she pushed off on Star. Kind of extended that forearm. They're going to get that for you every time. One oh three left to play, first quarter. Beaver leads. Shot by Weaver. No good, but she's fouled. That foul is going to be on Young, and that's going to be her second. That could be costly for the Lady Cardinals. So Weaver at the line, two shots. First shot is good. 58, 57 seconds up to play first quarter, 12 to 10. As Ibsen checks back in for the Lady Cardinals, as Young will have to go to the bench with two fouls. Weaver sinks the second, 13 to 10 now the score. 
Levins bringing the ball up. Gets it just past midcourt, stolen away by Weaver. Misses the shot. Shot put up by Looper, and she's fouled. Foul is going to be on Parker. Parker's first foul, team's fifth foul. So Sydney Looper at the line. Looper misses the first. Callie McVeigh returns to the game. 42.6 seconds to play in the first quarter. Looper's second free throw, no good. And a foul call. On number 22, that'll be Rebecca Dame. That'll be her first, team's third foul. We're back over to the Lady Cardinals. They trail 13 to 10. Ball inbound to Ips, and she's gonna be pushed from behind. So that'll be a foul on Haley Starr. That'll be her first, team's fourth foul. Ball inbounded to Parker. Gets it up to McVeigh across the timeline. Ball in the corner to Ibsen. Parker puts up the three, no good. Rebounded by Weaver. 20 seconds left to play. Name drives in, puts up the shot. Blocked by Alba. Shot from the baseline by Starr, missed. Eight seconds pass up ahead to Ibsen. Shot at the rim, missed. Loose ball, last touch by the Cardinals, so it'll go over to Beaver. 2.1 seconds left to play. Inbounded to Weaver, she'll put up the shot. No good. So at the end of one quarter of play, it's the Beaver Lady Dusters 13, the Turpin Card Lady Cardinals 10. So back into the game as we start the second quarter for the Lady Dusters. Devin Lansden, also Jenna Pugh. Lansden with the ball. She'll give it off to Schleschman. Schleschman shot at the free throw line. In and out, no good. Ball tipped away. Parker comes away with it. Up ahead. Keones pass back to Parker. Off to McVeigh. She'll put up the three. No good. Long rebound. Gathered in by Looper. They'll set their offense now. Lansden with it. Hill puts up the short jumper. It's good. 7.20 left to play in the first half. 15 to 10 now. Lady Dusters with the lead. Parker gets the ball over to Ibsen, over to Quinones. Dumps it down low to Alba. Alba puts up the shot, it's short, no good. Knocked out of bounds though, it will stay with the Lady Cardinals. Ball inbounded to Ibsen. Gets it out to Quinones, back to McVeigh. Loses it off her hip, able to save it before it goes past. The midcourt strike, ball on the floor though. Looper comes away with it, all the way to the hole, and she's gonna be fouled. And I think that's gonna be number two on Sailor Parker. And it is. That's gonna be team foul number six. So Looper and Young, both with two fouls for the Lady Cardinals. That could spell some trouble for them. Looper's first free throw is good. 6.45 left to play, first half. Beaver leads 16 to 10. Looper's second free throw. Off the rim, no good. Loose ball on the floor, tied up, jump ball. And it's arrow favors the Lady Cardinals, so they'll take possession. Backdoor pass to Quinone, steps back in the lane, back outside, Parker shot. No good, rebounded by Lansden. 
Drives to the basket, puts up the shot. Rebounded by Schleschman. No good. And she's fouled. That call will be on Ibsen. I think the referee didn't make a call on that one because he wasn't sure if it was a charge or a block, so he just kind of let it go. That's the team seventh foul, so Beaver in the bonus the rest of the way. Weaver checks back into the game. 6-17 left to play in the first half. 17-10 now the score. Second free throw from Schleschman. Up and good. Make that 18. Ball inbound and tipped away by Weaver. Back out of bounds. It will stay with the Lady Cardinals. Turpin led this game 10 to 6 at one point, but have been outscored 12 to nothing since then. to Ibsen at the high post, no good. Schleschman with the ball. Passes it up ahead, Star with the shot, it's good. 8, 20 to 10 now the score. 540 left to play in the first half. Beaver taking control. Quinones with it in the corner. She drives to the free throw line, outside to Ibsen. Parker with it now. Tried to dump it off to Quinones as she tried to set a screen. Weaver takes it to the other end, puts up the layup. We've got a timeout on the court. 5-16 left to play. It's Beaver 22, Turpin 10. Turpin with possession. They have not scored since the four minute mark. Just after the four minute mark in the first quarter. All tied up by Weaver. Callie McVeigh comes away with it, gets it to Quinones. She tried to pass it down to Alba, knocked away. Ball on the floor, and that's going to be a foul on Quinones. Looked like she grabbed the foot of White Eagle, so they'll walk to the other end. One and one. And misses the front end. Quinones got the rebound. Young gets out of the trouble. Gets past midcourt. She's double teamed though. Passes it over to McVeigh. Ball into the corner to Levins. Too high. And a turnover. Back over to Beaver. 443 left. First half. White Eagle with the ball, passes it down low to Pew, puts it up and in. 24 to 10 now the score. Four and a half minutes left to play in this first half. Quinones with it in the corner. She's got three fouls, by the way. Levens gets the loose ball, kicks it outside. Young puts up the three, no good. Quinones with the rebound, misses the shot. Pew comes away with it. Up ahead, Schleschman for three. It's good. 27 to 10 now. Four minutes left, first half. McVeigh over to Levens. Down low to Alba. Back outside, Levens puts up the three. No good. Rebounded by Schleschman. Pass down low, shot put up, no good by White Eagle, and a foul. Foul is going to be on White Eagle. That'll be her first, team's fifth foul. Parker and Ibsen check back into the game. Ball into McVeigh. 
She'll get it across the timeline. Parker with it. Sees Levens on the wing. Down low to Ibsen. Ball tipped away. But they're going to call the foul on Pugh for the shove from behind. That'll be her third foul already. Team sixth foul. So Rebecca Dame will check in in her spot. In man of the basket, shot by Young in the lane is good. And the scoring drought for the Lady Cardinals is over. 3-11 left to play in the first half. 27-12, Lady Dusters lead. And Parker steps in front of that pass, knocks it out of bounds, almost had the steal. Beaver will inbound on the baseline. All pass underneath, shot put up by Dame missed. Dame gets her own rebound, puts it up. They'll say out of bounds and back over to Turpin. Parker brings it across the timeline. And ball knocked away. She had tried to get it to McVeigh. White Eagle takes it up for the layup. Turpin just really struggling with this pressure. Another timeout on the floor, 240 left to play. It's Beaver 29, Turpin 12. Timeout, Turpin with the ball. Young guarded closely by Weaver. Foul is going to be called on Weaver. And that'll be number seven, so Turpin will walk to the free throw line as Young will get the one and one. That was the first foul on Weaver. First free throw, no good. Rebounded by Starr. Weaver with the pass to the corner. Looper for three. No good. Parker with the rebound. Up to Young, up to McVeigh. In transition, across the lane to Ibsen. Shot blocked by Schleschman, but she's going to be called for the foul. That'll be her first. Team's eighth foul, so Ibsen at, Ibsen at the line for two shots. No good on the first shot. 2.14 left to play, first half. Turpin trails 29 to 12. Second shot, no good. Rebounded by Schleschman. Down low, Ibsen gets the steal. And back the other way. Levens with the ball on the wing. Tried to dump it down to Parker. Weaver steps in front of that and causes a jump ball. Arrow favors the Lady Dusters, so they will take possession. 154 left in the half. That looked like a double dribble as she picked up her dribble to pass it to Weaver and saw Weaver wasn't looking. No call though. Weaver with it now. Pass down low. And a nice pass through there to Dame for the layup. 31 to 12 now, minute and a half left. Parker looked at the three, drives to the basket, gets the shot to go and draws the foul. Foul is gonna be on Schleschman. That'll be her second. One twenty-four left to play. Parker trying to convert the the and one, and she does. 
31-15 now the score. Lansden passes to Weaver on the block. Ducks under, misses the shot, gets her own rebound missed. And Young gets the rebound and she's fouled by Dolly. And double bonus now as Dame is called for her second. So Young at the line for two shots. Sinks the first. So Mills comes back into the game for the Lady Dusters. And Alba back in for the Lady Cardinals. 109 left to play first half. Young misses the second. Lansden comes away with the rebound, 31-16 the score. Gets it to Weaver, she'll back out, ball in the corner, Star shoots it, no good. McVeigh comes away with it, gets it to Young. Under a minute to play. McVeigh puts up the three, no good. Long rebound by Star. Weaver with it. All to the high post, Lansden will back out. They'll set their offense. She takes a shot at the free throw line, no good. Ball loose on the floor, Parker comes away with it. Tipped away from behind by Weaver. Star with it now, drives in. She's gonna be called for the charge. He ran over Young. That'll be number two on Star. Into the game. For the first time, a sophomore, number 20, Lauren Weber. 22 seconds left to play. Ball tipped out of bounds by Looper. Turpin will inbound again. Ball inbounded to, to McVeigh. Brings it across the timeline. 15 seconds left to play. Backs out, under 10. McVay picks up her dribble to the high post to Young. Five seconds, shot blocked by Weaver. Looper comes away with it. One second, puts up the shot, no good. So we will head to the halftime with the Turpin Lady Cardinals trailing the Beaver Lady Dusters, 31 to 16. And we are ready for the second half of play. Turpin will have possession. They're trailing 31 to 16 though, as Beaver had a 21 to nothing run in the middle, middle of that first half. Shot down low by Alba is short. Up to Schleschman. She'll drive to the block, puts up the runner, no good. Rebounded by Young. Gets it up to McVeigh. Team Yonase with it on wing, backdoor pass to McVeigh at the block. She'll have to kick it back out to Young. Young drives baseline, pops up, no good. Star with, or lands him with the rebound. Ball up ahead, shot at the rim, and a charge call is going to be called on White Eagle. That'll be her second foul, team's first foul of the half. Seven minutes left to play in the third quarter. Lansden with the steal, pass up ahead to Schleschman, and puts it up and in, 33-16. 6.45 left to play in the third quarter. Coach Robinson calls out the play call for the Lady Cardinals. Quinones with it. She'll go to the free throw line, dumps it outside to Alba. Off to McVeigh. Now Young with it. Down low to Young. And she's going to be fouled on the shot. 
That's going to be on Schleschman. That'll be her third. So, Michaela Young at the line. Two shots. First free throw off the front of the rim. Zoe Weaver will come in and take Devin Lansden's spot. 6.14 left to play. Second free throw missed as well, rebounded by Starr. Starr with it. Cross court pass. Dumps down low to Pew. Shot is short. Ball knocked around. Quinones comes away with it. Around the perimeter, Quinones passes up the three, gets it to Young, tries to drive baseline and draws the foul on Star. That's going to be her third, team's third foul. Inbound underneath the basket. Ball inbounded to Young, puts up the shot at the block, no good. Rebounded by White Eagle, pass up ahead to Schleschman, and she gets the layup. 35-16 now the score, five and a half left to play in the third quarter. Quinones drives the block, loses control of the ball. Last touch though by a Beaver. Ibsen and Levens return for the Lady Cardinals. Looper returns for the Lady Dusters. 5-10 left to play. Turpin inbounding underneath her own basket. Ball inbounded to Ibsen. Shot blocked by White Eagle. Weaver with it now in transition. Up ahead to Schleschman. It's good. 37 to 16 now the score. Five minutes left to play. We've got a timeout on the floor. It's Beaver 37, Turpin 16. So out of the timeout, Turpin with possession. Vey will bring it up for the Lady Cardinals. Levens drives in, picks up her dribble though, back out to Alba who drives down the block, kicks it back out to Parker. McVeigh dumps it down to Alba. A looper stepped in front of that one, couldn't save it from going out of bounds, but a nice defensive play there. And we'll stay with the Lady Cardinals though. Over the top to Ibsen on the block, across the lane to Alba. Parker's got it back out front now. Passes it off to McVeigh as they defensively have made that handoff a tough one at times. Now Parker back with it. All tipped away a little bit there by White Eagle, but McVeigh able to control it. Tries to get it to Parker as she cut through. Ball knocked away by Weaver. Pew pass up ahead. Schleschman shot at the free throw line. No good. Rebounded by Looper. Back outside. Three pointer by Schleschman is good. 40 to 16 with just under four minutes to play in the third quarter. Schleschman, the only person on either team to score in this second half. She scored all nine of the Lady Dusters points. Parker drives baseline to the block. Shot is blocked by Weaver. Gets her own rebound over to Alba. Her shot's blocked. Puts up another shot, no good. Rebounded up ahead, White Eagle to Schleschman. And the basket is up and good again by Schleschman. 42 to 16 now. 3.15 left to play. Third quarter. Parker gets it over to Levens. Levens looks to go baseline. She'll back it out now. 
Weaver steals it away, able to get it under control, in transition. Has a shot blocked by, by Levens. Foul is going to be called on Xyle Ibsen. That'll be her second. Team's first of the half. And she fouled Julie White Eagle in the act of shooting, so two shots. And sinks the first one. Young, Bott, back into the game, as well as Quinones. And also, the sophomore number 33, Anna Vasquez, in for the first time. Weber in for the Lady Dusters, as well as Looper, and also number 12, a sophomore, Cody Lynch Richardson. So both free throws by White Eagle, good. 44 to 16, now the score. Ball down low, Vasquez puts up the shot, no good. Rebounded by Lansden. Weaver with it, back out top. Looper drives baseline, puts up the shot, no good. And last touch I'll say by Young, so that'll leave it with the Lady Dusters. 2.20 left, third quarter. 44-16 the score. Drive by Richardson, shot no good. Rebounded by Weber, no good. McVeigh comes away with the ball. Up ahead to Young. Turpin still trying to find their first points in this second half. This is their second long scoring drought of this game. Quinones drives in the lane, puts up the shot, partially blocked. Missed, Quinones comes away with the rebound and a foul called on the shot. That's gonna be on Cody Lynn Richardson. That'll be her first. Team's fourth foul. They'll say it was on the floor, so Turpin will inbound the ball from the baseline. Ball outside to Quinones, back to McVeigh in the corner. Well covered by Lansden though, so ball loose. Richardson got it, now Quinones got it back. Lansden gets it back for the Lady Dusters. Ball into the lane to Looper, puts it up and in. 46-16 now, a minute and a half left to play in the third quarter. Young loses control of it, knocked around. Looper comes away with it. Lansden will set the offense. Three-pointer by Richardson, no good. Tries to save her own long rebound, but can't save it before it goes out of bounds. Parker returns to the game for the Lady Cardinals. 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Lady Cardinals trailing Beaver by 30 now. Still looking for their first points of this second half. Ball off to Parker. Back to McVeigh, she's open for three. No good. Rebounded by Lansden. Over to Richardson. Back to Lansden. She'll pass it over to Looper. All into the corner. Beaver trying to hold it for one shot. 20 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Quinones tried to get the steal, couldn't quite get there in time. Short corner to Weaver. Now 10 seconds, takes a shot. Weaver's shot is good. 48-16, 3-2. Shot by McVeigh, no good. And so the third quarter ends. It's the Beaver, Lady Dusters, 48. The Turpin Lady Cardinals, 16. Oh, as we start the fourth quarter, Beaver with possession of the ball and a 32-point lead. As Turpin still looking for their first points in this second half as they scoreless in that third quarter. 
And a jump ball. And ball over to the Lady Cardinals. Quinones on the wing, ball intercepted by Schleschman, has it knocked away by Quinones from behind. Gets it over to Parker. High post to Young, back outside, McVay with the three, no good. Ball back over to Beaver. Down low, shot put up by Dame, missed. All loose on four, Dame comes away with it. Down low to Dame again, puts up the shot, no good. Rebounded by Young. Quinones over to Parker. High post to Young, she drives to the basket, puts up the shot and it's good. 6.45 left to play, and it's now 48-18. Shot at the end, no good. Parker with the rebound. Lady Cardinals back the other way. Cross-court pass, knocked away by Dame and out of bounds. Young with it down low, kicks it back outside. McVeigh for three from the top of the key. It is good. 48-21 now. Six minutes left to play. All on the wing, Schleschman with it. Finds a cutter in the lane, no good by White Eagle. Young comes away with it for the Lady Cardinals. Up to Parker. Back to Young, thought about the three. Kicked around the perimeter. Quinones drives, kicks it back out to Young for three. No good. Schleschman with the rebound. White Eagle drives, puts up the shot, no good. Alba with the rebound. Bay with the ball out top. Parker to Young in the short corner, puts up the shot in and out. Ball knocked out of bounds by White Eagle, so it'll stay with the Cardinals. Levens, Lipson, back in for the Cardinals. Weber, Weaver, and Looper back in for the Lady Dusters. Fleshman doesn't come back in at this point, probably won't with the big lead. She finishes the game with a game-high 20 points. Three by McVeigh, no good. Rebounded by Weaver. Ball into the corner to Starr. Finds the cutter in the lane and Looper. Looper falls down, ball knocked out of bounds by Turpin. Last touch, I think, by Young, who knocked it out of there. 4.32 left to play, 48-21, Beaver leads. All passed inside to Chenna Pugh. Shot goes up, no good, but she draws a foul. So that'll be number three on Ipsum. Team second foul, so Pugh at the line for two shots. First one is good. Quinones and Alba return. Four and a half left to play in this one. Second free throw also good. 50 to 21 now the score. Lord, 
Evans with it in the corner. Dumps it off to Quinones. Down low to Alba. Kicks it back outside. Levins looked at the three, passes it up. McVeigh open, puts up the three from the wing. No good. Star with the rebound. Ball knocked out of bounds by McVeigh. All into the corner, back out, Weaver with it now. Oh, hits off the side of the backboard and out of bounds. Bott, Parker, and Young return to the game for Turpin. Passed into Weber, shot put up and a foul call. Shot by Weber is up. It's good. 3.30 left to play, 51-21 now the score. Second one good as well. 52-21, Lady Dusters. Ame checks back in the game and in for the first time. A senior, number 40, Natalie Linville. Parker comes off the screen. She'll give it to Alba. Gives it up to Young. Parker drives, kicks back out to Young. Quinones with it. Over to Alba, looks baseline. Quinones has to save it from going out of bounds. Linville comes up with it. Under three minutes left to play. Ball in the corner to Weaver. Hooper kicks it out. Linville puts up the three. It's good. And the Beaver crowd goes wild as the senior comes in. Hits the three. 55-21 now the score. Two and a half minutes left to play. Down low to Parker, kicks it to the free throw line. Bot with the shot, no good. Weber comes away with the rebound. Ball into the corner to Looper. Back out to Weaver. Under two minutes left. Down low to Weber. Goes baseline, has it knocked away. And Young comes away with it. She's going to be fouled by Dame. Richardson returns to the game for the Lady Dusters. One forty-six left. Jones with on a wing, drives to the free throw line, kicks it across to Young. No Parker with it. Over the top to Alba, can't get it till she's right at the baseline and she's going to be tied up. And the arrow favors the Lady Dusters. Into the game for the Lady Dusters. Double zero, a freshman Devin Porter. Come on. Also number 33, Ashlyn Hindergart. She's a sophomore. And number 25, a junior, Juliet Chupo Chalupic. 
Three ball by Linville from the corner, missed. Rebounded by Porter, shot put up by Richardson, missed. So Lupic with the rebound, back out top to Linville, ball into the corner. Richardson pops with the short baseline shot, missed. Porter with the rebound, loose ball, Linville drives in, loses control of it, and she's going to be called for the travel. In for the Cardinals, a freshman number three, Brooklyn Romero. Also, Vasquez back in the game. And number 11, a junior, Mackenzie Godfrey. Freshman Reagan Russell, number 21, in off into the Lady Dusters as well. All dumped down low, stolen away by Beaver. Hindergart with that steal. Chalupic in the lane has the ball knocked away out of bounds. It will stay with the Lady Dusters. 25 seconds left to play. 55 21, Beaver leads. Lupic with it, loses it. Vasquez gets the steal. Passes it up ahead to Godfrey. Has the ball knocked away and out of bounds. It'll still be a Turpin ball. 20 seconds left. All over to Levens. Comes off the screen into the lane, drives to the basket, puts it up, missed the shot. Rebounded by Chalupic. Shot at the buzzer, no good. But the Beaver Lady Dusters have come to Turpin and defeated the Turpin Lady Cardinals 55 to 21. That'll improve them to 9 and 5. Turpin falls to 5 and 10. Thank you for joining us on PTCI Channel 2 for our girls edition. Hope you'll stick around for the boys game coming up next.